no, we're like middle no, class men. Like money, yes. money like, can't uncorn a cornball. A lot of these no, never cornballs with money, like Zion Williams, as you can see, he probably never even really dealt with too many women. Like you said, I'm worth two. Nah, there's no way. I wouldn't even be fucking something that looked like that. Y'all yeah, really no. think Zion like, Williams like a cartoon. didn't deal with women? <laughs> Hell no. That Zion Williamson probably been getting ass since like tenth Bro, grade. Not paying, he, not paying something like that. That's he out. ain't be getting that. He from South Carolina, bro. He ain't be getting that type of ass. No, really, come on now, man. This dude is he's an NBA ball player. You listen, was, man. The women look like the men where he from, man. He ain't be getting that type of ass. I, wouldn't and I came across something interesting. It said, uh, do rich men cheat more than poor men? That there, there's no evidence that suggests that they do. In fact, after controlling for a variety of different e effects, it seems that there is very little connection between income and cheating men. Interestingly, though. The real effect of income on cheating is with women. Poor women are significantly more likely to cheat than wealthier women. So who are the cheaters? Men are, but no one, but not one particular type of man. Women are too, but predominantly women who are young and poor. One possible explanation for this behavior is women is that they are using cheating as a way to shop for a better long-term partner. Or another explanation is that there uh, is biological where they're shopping for the best genes. This makes sense if they can do better in the market for sperm than they can and they will. It could also be just that wives of poor men have less to lose if they are caught being unfaithful. Speaking of sperm, Robin Baker, his book, Sperm Wars, The Science of Sex, says that while 10% of all men, regardless of income, are raising children who are not their own, that number goes up to 30% for men who are in the bottom of the income distribution, and it drops down to 2% for men who are in the top. So if you think that cheating imposes hardship on families, particularly on children, then you have to agree that that taking a look at the particular group of cheaters has to be worth the while. The so, in other words, so in other words, broke men get cheated on more. Yeah. So I'm going a, I'm to a add to that. I, I'm not even sure if it's, it's a rich man, poor man thing. But I guess in some sense, especially in the West, because I, I think she used the wrong example. In the West, yes. Rich men will probably get cheated on simply because they make poor choices in women. It used to be that a man with a lot of money knew the value of his entire brand. And he would only choose a woman that would be able to uphold the image of that brand. Now these dudes are stupid. Zion Williamson out here paying a woman he should definitely smash for free. I'm sorry. <laughs> if I, if yeah. I had just Zion Williamson money, are you smashing me because I'm Zion Williamson. I'm not paying you a damn thing. So these dudes are making dumb decisions. So I would say they're they're literally falling for the same superficial. They, they have the same superficial tendencies women have. So now it's all about clout. It's no longer about upholding your brand. These dudes think they're bulletproof and they, they want to be projected outwardly to the community like somebody who's a player. Right. But you don't actually need that. Like I'm telling you right now, if I was. A dude with two hundred million dollars, I would have like an ambassador's daughter on my arm or something. You would barely ever see her. That woman would barely ever talk. Hello, how are you? You know what I'm saying? What what what, what do you want to do? Whatever you like. And you, you bark yeah. like a dog. Like you, I would have that type of woman. Dead ass. These so these men are these men are a little different though because this is like the first generation of wealth, right? Like there are things in place for people who have always had money. There's grooming involved. They teach yeah. you how to select women and all this. This guy, Zion Williamson, his family, I don't think nah, any of them right. really had that type of money. So they don't know what the hell to do with it. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? This wasn't really supposed to happen to him. And then it did. And he's behaving like a man who this was not supposed to happen to. Mm -hmm. He's just blowing it. And he has no experience and he has no positive role models in his life to pull his coat and tell him, yo, bro, you out here bugging. Chill out. No, and that's, that's this is the result of it. Y'all give that man way too much credit. A, a lot of these rich dudes be cornballs. So a lot of yeah. these, like a lot of the women that have actually been interviewed who done cheated on rich guys been like, it was boring. So even mm -hmm. though they had the lifestyle that they that they wanted financially, the actual relationship between her and him was boring. boring. So a they lot of them, them, they pick these guys for the lifestyle. They get the lifestyle, secure that. Then they go cheat with the guys they really like. The bad boys, you know what I'm yep, saying? Like exactly. Excited. So I'm gonna use your money. Now. I'm gonna drive your bins to the hood. I'm gonna go get Hookie and Ray Ray, and it's exciting over here. And he breaking my back, like dude, ain't even. Damn. 
You know what I'm saying? That's there's, what I say, but I feel like middle class men. Like money, yes. money can't uncorn a cornball. A lot of these no, never. cornballs with money, like Zion Williams, as you can see, he probably never even really dealt with too many women. Like you said, I'm worth 200. No, nah, there's no way. I wouldn't even be fucking something that looked like that. Y'all yeah, really no. think Zion like, Williams like a cartoon. didn't deal with women? <laughs> Hell no. That Zion Williamson probably been getting ass since like 10th Bro, grade. Not paying, not paying yeah, something yeah. like that. That's he out. ain't be getting that. He from South Carolina, bro. He ain't be getting that type of ass. Y'all, come on, really? Bro. Come on now, man. This dude is he's a NBA ball player. You listen, was, man. The women look like the men where he from, man. He ain't be getting that type of ass. I wouldn't man, give a damn what he was. He paying that thing a hundred thousand dollars to fuck and you Zion Williams? Nah. Yeah. No, I wouldn't have taken that for free. I'm sure, look, I look at it like this. I'm sure, like, you can't. Looking at Zion Williamson, this dude is an NBA player. That means he was arguably one of the best ball players at his school. College, yeah. At college, at school, all the way up into the NBA, and he became lazy. He was one of the best ballers in the country. That dude got yeah, ass. He just slapped money on it. And the thing is, and the thing is that thank you, Sue. I, I ain't gonna sit here and say that he's very picky with the amount of, with the type of ass he get. However, I'm sure he pays a lot of different women money for ass. Somebody that had experience, she just happened to be the one to speak. His actions is showing he didn't look who he's paying. It's not even well, like she's a stripper, right? I'm, I'm gonna tell you what, girl stripper? She's, she's, a corn, she's a corn, she's a corn star. Okay, so maybe he got bored. No, nah, you know what? You could tell he was never really familiar with any type of he doesn't have any charisma, he never developed any game. People right. who get Women, just because they have money or have clout or have a skill at one thing, will never know how to deal with women. His entire approach was wrong, and it always worked anyway because women never rejected him because of the status. So you can't get better without rejection. Anything that we ever get better at, we have to take some L's in first. He never had time to build it. Because he was never rejected. He was probably nice since he was ele elementary school. And he and any female he wanted, he was able to get them without ever developing any game. So he would never actually acquire any skill on how to engage with women ever. And he's probably going to suck forever. You could tell by the leaked text messages that he Yo. had. That he's a great sucker when it comes to Yo. women. He's he's doing doing really? Really? They, they send in real text messages from their own number. That's how right. you know he ain't got no damn. Right. <laughs> yeah. You ain't never heard of an encrypted uh, encryption app. You never heard of what? Y'all are giving, giving people way he, too much credit. He's still he dumb. I didn't say he wasn't he was dumb. He was a bomb, <laughs> being a narcissist. Oh, here you go. <laughs> hey, I guarantee you, we looked at Zion Williams' <laughs> roster. I'm sure he has a wide spectrum. He cast a wide net. He's paying. A I'm lot quite of money sure. Yeah. Yeah, but that's paying what people up money. there do. Shit, hell, even even uh, what's that boy Takashi six nine pay for ass? Yeah, he's so, a cornball. He's no, a cornball. Yeah, he's he's he's, he, he's not real. They all pay for ass. ass. Every last dude. one of them are paying for ass. Maybe I'm a narcissist then because I think it's your privilege to smash me. That's, I, that's who saying. I would be. It, like, every last one of them paying for ass. Every last one of them. Every dude that got money up there is paying for ass. That way no, I go all the way on the earth. Cause men gonna pay for it anyway. No, that's crazy. It, you, it's no, that's lucrative. Crazy. They all paying for it. I don't care if they Trey Songs or they Zion Williamson ugly ass. They all paying for ass. <laughs> I'm in the NBA. I'm not paying for nothing. Shit. Hey, exactly. You lucky to be dealing with you. Me. Lucky to Shit. let my sweat drip on you. Like what? That, that's because we're not in the NBA. <laughs> then you had all these women. Yo, the old out. school players never played for that. They stories. told you who, who had the stories. Who was the dude? He, he said he had him lined up or snuck in his dressing room and all that. Magic Johnson been through. Who's the dude? Right. Who's the dude that had 10,000? Was it? Um, that nigga paid for a lot of that ass. ass. I don't think we'll so, pay, bro. We'll we'll they lining up like ass. that. And we'll not pay for if all of in your room, who, which one are you no, going to pay real. for? All of them or none of them? He may not have paid for all of the ass, but he paid for some ass. <laughs> all of them. <laughs> the one that they keep getting All of them. Just a little bit. 